Hi boys and girls, happy Monday. You noticed that we're not wearing our costumes this week. We're in November now! Can't believe it. School year is flying by, but we still have a lot of work to do. We are still in unit two in our reading and we are still learning all about animals. Mm -hmm. So this week we are going to be focusing on our essential question, which talks about how our offspring like their parents. And we're going to learn that. That word offspring, I can tell, might be a new word for some of you. Offspring means their babies. Oh. So how are babies similar to their parents? Okay. We have an expository text this week. So our genre is expository text. That means nonfiction. So we're going to be seeing real photographs and real information and facts in our story. So why don't we go ahead and get started? Our title this week is called Eagles and Eagles. All right, here we go. Bald eagles are birds. The baby birds, or offspring, are called eaglets. Let's read about how eaglets are like their parents. It's nesting time. All birds lay eggs. Bald eagles build their nests in the top, tops of trees so the eggs will be safe. Their nests are built of sticks and grass. They add onto their nests each year. They can become huge. These giant nests can be as large as nine feet across. That's Whoa. almost twice as long as we are mm -hmm. tall. That's like me standing on your head. Uh-huh. Wow. That's bigger than your bed. The mother eagle lays from one to three eggs. She sits on her eggs until they hatch. Then both parents watch over the nest. All right, the next section is called Proud Parents. At first, the eaglets are helpless. They cannot walk. They need their parents for food. They also cannot see well. Birds are not mammals. They do not have milk to feed their young. They hunt for food. Eaglets also need their parents for safety. Our next section is called Eaglets Grow Up. Bald eagles use their sharp eyes to hunt. They use their strong wings to fly fast. They also use their claws and beak to catch fish. Young eaglets must learn all these things. Then they can live on their own. And our caption says, the eagles must bring food to the eaglets. And you can see a little picture of the adult eagle bringing food to the little eaglets or the offspring. Unlike mammals, birds have feathers, not fur. An eaglet is born covered with soft gray down. Down is another word for feathers, like soft fur. Not fur, soft feathers. <laughs> It cannot fly until it grows dark feathers like its parents. The eaglet stays near the nest until its wings grow strong. That takes about five months. This is a bald eagle. We have, he has powerful eyes, a hooked yellow beak, dark feathers on body and wings, white tail feathers, and long claws or talons. Right. An eaglet becomes an adult when it has learned to do all the things its parents do. This takes about five years. Bald eagles can stay alive for up to 30 years. Wow. And our caption says, when the bald eagle soars, the feathers on its huge wings spread out like fingers. This section is called bald eagle soar. Once it learns to fly, the bald eagle can soar for hours. The bald eagle must take good care of its feathers. It uses its beak to groom itself. It must keep its feathers clean. Can you believe this powerful eagle began life as a helpless baby? Wow, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That was a great story, learning a little bit about how eagles are similar to their babies. And this week we're going to be learning about different types of animals and how they're also similar to the wow. offspring. Let's take a look at our worksheet for today. It's like a magic trick every time. I love that. A slow magic trick. <laughs> it is a little <laughs> slow today. 
All right, so we are on Monday, Unit 2, Week 4, and our topic is baby animals. Again, here's our essential question. How are offspring like their parents? Well, I like this question because we just read a story about eagles and eaglets. So if you wanted to write something about how eagles are similar to their babies, you can. But do you think they could write about any other animals? Absolutely. They know about them? Yep. Could they write about how they're like their own parents? Yep, we're offspring too. We're the mm -hmm. offspring of our parents and you are the offspring of your parents. So you might wanna write about how you're similar to one of your parents. Yep, you might have similarities just like animals do in terms of the color of their hair or what you like to do or how you get your food. Huh? <laughs> Hopefully your cool. mom doesn't chew it up and spit it in your fat mouth like an eagle does oh, to an eaglet and they just gross. like set it on a plate in front of you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not gonna judge, Bang. but ew, Bang. right? Ew. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> All right, our strategy this week is to reread. You're gonna go back and I want you to find out how is the eaglet like its parent and how is it different? So this question is a little bit different. I wanna know not only how are they similar, but also how are they different? How is that teeny tiny little baby eaglet different than its big mother or father eagle? That can take care of itself, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then at the bottom, you get to draw a picture of an eagle and its offspring. I have to tell you, Miss Marker, I know you're, you're probably gonna say. gonna say this. <laughs> this has been recently one of my favorite pages mm -hmm. to grade Me because too. I love to see all of the different drawings. Some kids mm -hmm. get super intricate and really go to town and make it like a detailed drawing and it's just really fun to see, okay, who's gonna really put that work in and make the yeah. drawing really cool? Like, when we graded the one about the prairie dogs and it was so oh, cute yeah. to see the <laughs> little burrows and the pra prairie dogs uh -huh. that kids drew that was a fun one to grade so i like the wolf one. Oh yeah and that yeah, was good there were people drawing all the pictures of like little sheep and, uh -huh. and then someone yelling woo, woo. they were really detailed and their facial expressions uh -huh. so i'm excited to see your eagle and eaglet and what that ends up looking like yeah <laughs> all right and then that's it for today